right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Get ready for the most epic video you've ever seen on the channel, working with Mad Electrician, AKA Steven. So we were working on an electrical shutdown this morning and we went ahead and double checked that the panel was on um, before we started. And then we went ahead and turned off the breaker, checked that it was off. And then we went ahead and put the lockout on there, lockout tag out, make sure no one will turn it on even though we're working right next to it. Um, better to be safe than sorry, um, and it is protocol. So we went ahead and checked that that was off, uh, locked that out, and then we went ahead and start went ahead and started to take off the screws for the panel cover. Um, so we got those off, and then it was nice because it was a hinged panel. So it kind of just uh, we could just push that out of the way without having to take it off all the way. And then we went ahead and um, checked that the power was still dead. Um, on the incoming wires from the transformer from the panel that we just locked out uh, because um, from that big panel on the right side it goes over to a transformer and then it comes back to this smaller panel so we made sure that the wires were dead and then once we verified that we went ahead and took off the dead front and then from there we went ahead and checked it again um, and there is a method that we use at our company, um, which is the live dead live. So we went ahead and took out his meter. We checked, we did check a plug uh, first to make sure that it was working. And then we went over here and checked everything on the panel, uh, neutral to phase, neutral to each phase, neutral to ground, ground to each phase. So we made sure everything was dead. And then we went back and to that same plug and we made sure that the tester was still working because sometimes um, a tester might not be working or something um, as soon as you test and then you can it could still be live and then you could be in big trouble so anyways once we got all that verified that everything was completely dead I went ahead and took off this um, one inch piece of pipe that I had set in there from yesterday ready for the shutdown um, and so I got that taken off and then from there went ahead and it drilled out the hole um, which is going to be for the wire that we were putting in there for the shutdown. Um, so after drilling that out which took an eternity um, we got that ready to go and then I grabbed the one inch pipe and then using these special connectors which I've never seen before which are pretty cool um, we could um, slide the, the pipe right into place with having the box completely mounted um, we didn't have to cheat any couplings or anything like that. Um, the only difference, the only problem that there was, which I didn't notice, or I didn't know because I've never used these uh, connectors before. I might have said couplings earlier, but anyways, I've never used these connectors before. So you actually have to account for, there's a little threaded piece that comes into the connector. So I had to cut the pipe a little bit shorter. And then once we got that figured out, uh, we went ahead and screwed the connectors on there and I'm not sure the specific name on the connectors um, but it's like a flat connector um, and it screws in from the inside which is pretty cool so you can just take your pipe that was ready to go and then go ahead and connect those together and then you're set um, I went ahead and um, tightened the little box pipe strap um, and then made sure it, that the pipe was level and it was pretty close. Uh, and then from there, tightened the connector screws down. And then we were ready for the wire. Um, and we already had that cut from yesterday, which was like 15 feet, which was more than enough for what we were working on. Um, just going straight down the pipe to the bottom of the panel. And then coming into this first box right here. So we went ahead and put the wire in. Um, and it was a little tangled, but not too bad. Once we got that done, went ahead and just threw the rest of that wire excess behind the panel temporarily, um, just to get it out of the way. Um, Steven went ahead and started grounding the um, new ground coming into the panel. He went ahead and started stripping that, grounding that, tightening that down. And then I came back here in a second and went up and started to ground the box. So I just put in the ground pigtail and then um, cut off the part that goes onto the device and then wire into that or strip that and then um, cut the ground that I that we just pulled in, strip that and then matched them up. 
Um, we got that wire netted, as you can see right there. And then Stephen was working on routing the other wires, the three neutrals and the three hots to the left side of the panel where we were going to be, well, where he was going to be terminating them. And then I went ahead and was cutting off the excess wire and uh, throwing that on the ground over there uh, very slowly. And then from there, I just went ahead and put wire nuts on each of the other six wires in the box, the three hots, the black, red, and blue, and then the three whites, the normal, actually, I think they were all um, had a stripe on them. So there was a white, blue, a white with a blue stripe, a white with a red stripe, and a white with a black stripe, um, indicating that those all went to their certain colors, um, which is nice when you have um, color matching neutrals with the stripe. So I went ahead and wire nutted all six of those as we were gonna be turning the power back on and we wanted that to be safe in the box. Um, and then Steven was um, getting those wires routed down through some zip ties and then cutting and stripping those ready to land on the breakers. I think he cut and stripped them all and then landed them all at the same time instead of doing one individually. So that is up to him. I'm, I'm not saying like that's a right or wrong way, but I'm just saying that's the way that he did it. Um, so yeah, that makes it faster in the end. Um, so he went ahead and got those cut and stripped and ready to go. I went ahead and pushed back the feeders that we moved out of the way to drill the hole. Um, and we did put some cardboard in there before to make sure there was no metal shavings or anything like that. Um, and then at this point, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Um, I think I was just cutting some zip ties. Actually, no, I was putting on the, the little wire label numbers after Steven got all the wires landed onto the breakers went ahead and put the little numbers around them on circuit five, seven, and nine. And then from there, put on the last zip tie and then uh, went ahead and cut that. Um, nice to take all the tails off of the zip ties, especially in panels, but mostly in general, cut the zip ties, tails off of all zip ties. Um, and then from there, went ahead and gave the panel a clean vacuum on the bottom and a little bit on top just to make sure no shavings came down um, and got missed from the cardboard into any of the parts of the breakers or anything that was going to be um, live again once we turned the panel back on. And then from there, we went ahead and reversed the process once we were done, put the dead front back on, um, started to put the screws in. I think there was like four or six screws, probably six screws on the dead front. Um, and then from there, went ahead and uh, closed the hinged cover um, and then put the one screw on that to hold it into place. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here for a second. Um, so went ahead and it got that first screw started on the hinge cover. And then from there, went ahead and grabbed the other, I think it was just two other screws. I think there's only three on this hinged one. Um, so we got that all taken care of. Um, and once we got that done, we went ahead and grabbed our keys um, to the lockout tag out, started to unlock the um, device, the lockout device. So he grabbed his key, I grabbed my key, we took off the locks, flipped the power, nothing blew up, everything worked just fine, everything went smooth, and then once we turned the power back on, we checked it again with the uh, stick, and then everything was back live. And then I went ahead and wrote on the J box, put the cover on, and put the and put the cover on and wrote this panel, which was just straight below, obviously. Um, and then um, the circuit numbers, um, and yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, and I don't think there was anything else. Um, so that's what we did today this morning uh, before work or right when work started. Um, and then for the rest of the day, I went ahead and worked on the rest of my piping. So the shutdown only took about 30 to 40 minutes. And then the rest of the day, I worked by myself upstairs right here in the same spot. Um, so I finished, um, almost finished, but I, as you remember yesterday at the end of the day, I just had the 90 started and then I went ahead and ran all this pipe um, down here to the, where it's offset it right here. And the, the top pipe of the bottom three is mine. Um, so I went ahead and matched all the angles and bends that they had, mounted this box right here on the piece of strut that was already existing, 
and then uh, did a little half inch uh, out of the strut and then mounted the surge protector and then did another half inch pipe coming out to the left which is going up the wall into a five uh, a five bend piece of pipe so offset off of the wall uh, 90 up to the ceiling and then another kicked 90 and then it is a little bit crooked right here just because the end the other end isn't exactly uh, strapped down yet so um, that's where I got now I just have to take a right uh, another 90 to the right and then another 90 um, down um, into the transformer where it's going on the other side of the wall so I do think I probably need to do like another, like a C condolet or something because I'm probably already getting close to 360, 360 degrees. So I probably should have put that a little bit lower to the ground. Um, but anyways, uh, almost finished this. So that was nice. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the, this video working with Steven, doing a little voiceover for you guys of the work that we did today. All right, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Love to see you guys back in the next video. Let me know if you guys liked this video, um, doing the uh, kind of the working and the voiceover. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace.